The Legacy Community Development Corporation is a Section 21 company with a Legacy Centre in Kaimandi as base. Since the turning of the soil in 2001, the centre grew from just more than a hole in an empty piece of land to a fully-fledged community centre. The growth of the centre is an organic process and wonderful expedition together with the Kaimandi community and all the partners that joined us through the years. The Legacy Centre is known for its vegetable garden that primarily provides the Legacy family with fresh produce, but also gives the community an opportunity to be trained to grow their own vegetables. After the completion of the training, the trainees have the opportunity to join our Veg Box project. Members of the broader Stellenbosch community become part of this project by subscribing to a box of fresh vegetables per week. In 2010, a shop was opened that sells second-hand clothes for the benefit of Legacy's children's club called Kulani Kai Mandi. Kulani Kai Mandi is Legacy's program for primary school kids. Approximately 80 kids come to the centre every afternoon for a value-based program that focuses on reading, art, culture, life skills, sport and ecology. Together with the Kulani Kai Mandi program, Legacy also runs a transformation through sport program for grade 8 learners at the Kaimandi High School. Legacy also focuses on adults and in the mornings there are various opportunities for them to come together, to learn a new skill but also to have a good time. The oldest project at the Legacy Centre is the Siazaka Needlework Project that is run in partnership with Stellenbosch Muddergemeente. In 2009, Legacy entered into a partnership with the Medical Knowledge Institute, a Dutch NGO who extended the Legacy Center to house their health information center. They run regular workshops on health-related issues. Legacy's flagship project is Ikai Limpilo an 8-bed respite centre that provides a place for clients who have either just started with antiretroviral treatment or have been discharged from the hospital and needs further care and support. Apart from healthy food and lots of love, our clients also get counselling, physiotherapy and we make sure that they understand what it is to live with the virus. To be involved in Kaimandi often makes one feel despondent. There is just so many needs that are not addressed. There are, however, on the other hand, just so many stories of hope, stories of life change. And most of the time it's we as outsiders who are changed.